am A Jyoti Lakshmi of Department of Chemistry Basic Sciences and Humanities of BV Raju Institute of Technology Narsapur I am dealing with the course name Engineering Chemistry under which a topic is lubricants mechanism of lubrication and properties of lubricants Now let us see the mechanism of lubrication There are three different types of mechanisms three types of mechanisms by which lubrication takes place so the first one is known as thick film lubrication also known as fluid film lubrication or hydrodynamic lubrication and the second one is thin film lubrication or boundary lubrication and the third one is extreme pressure lubrication now we'll see one by one The first one is thick film lubrication. So this type of a lubrication will takes place and giving a continuous fluid film. This forms. continuous fluid film and the thickness of film between moving or sliding surfaces is greater than or equal to 1000 and so units now the machineries which are operated which are operated continuously and with high speed low load so the machinery is which are working continuously under high speed and low load this fluid film lubrication is applied so if we see the diagram here this is a metal surface we have and whatever the thickness we have is greater than or equal to 1000 angstrom units so we have here the adsorption of lubricant in between the metal surfaces which holds the two moving or rolling surfaces so here we are applying low load and the velocity is high so finds application in delicate instruments
like watches, clocks, scientific instruments. Blended mineral oils can be applied in this mechanism. Now let us discuss the second one that is thin film lubrication. So thin film lubrication is also known as boundary film lubrication. So the machineries which are working under non-continuous operation, non-continuous operation, and high load, low speed. Here, vegetable oil or animal oils can be applied. Here, the thickness will be less than 1000 Armstrong units. So, if we have a metal surface and this is also a metal surface and the lubricant in between moving or rolling surfaces having a thickness less than 1000 Armstrong units held by weak Van der Waals forces of attraction. Held by Weak Van der Waals forces of attraction. It can be either a physics option or a chemist option. And finds application. in automobiles and heavy machineries. So this is regarding thin film lubrication or boundary film lubrication. So now third type, it is a different type compared with that of a thick or thin film that is extreme pressure lubrication. In this type of a mechanism, the machines which are working with high speed and high load. So the main important thing here it is high speed and high load condition. When the machineries are working with the high speed and high load, then high temperature and pressure, high temperature and pressure can be developed. So by which Lubricant can be decomposed or vaporized. If this is the case, 
the lubricant is non sticky it is not sticking to the moving surfaces or rolling surfaces and it disappears from in uh, disappears from the lubricant disappears from the metal surfaces so to withstand the high temperature and pressure we are using additives like chlorides phosphates sulfates etc which are known as extreme pressure additives and the active metal surfaces we are considering here it is iron or copper etc here complete chemical bond formation takes place so that is considered as a permanent modification permanent modification of metal surface due to a chemical bond formed between an active metal surface with the extreme pressure additives so if the iron is the metal surface then on the iron here we are having a permanent modification like iron sulfides or iron phosphate or iron chlorides so a compound will be formed so these have higher stability than metal hence these can withstand the high temperature and pressure which is generated in between the metal surfaces due to high speed and high load condition so finds application in aircrafts and spacecrafts so this is regarding extreme pressure lubrication now let us discuss properties of lubricants we have five different properties to examine the lubricant which is applied between the moving surfaces so first one is viscosity second one cloud and pore point third one flash and fire point so the first one is viscosity and viscosity index so viscosity is the property of a fluid which gives resistance to flow so greater is the viscosity lower is the flow ability of fluid so viscosity index is change in viscosity with change in temperature
So higher the temperature, higher the temperature, lower the viscosity. Units of viscosity is poise or centipoise. So now the second one is cloud and pore point. So these are two different types of uh, properties. We'll see first the cloud point. These are related to the lower temperature that is on cooling. Whenever you are cooling down the lubricating oil, then on cooling the lubricating oils forms the temperature at which the lubricating oil gives hazy or cloudy appearance. So this is called as cloud point and pore point. So the temperature of a lubricating oil on cooling still after cloud point if you are continuously cooling down the temperature of the lubricating oil then it ceases to flow is known as pore point. So a good lubricant a good lubricant should have low cloud and pore point. Now the third one flash and fire point. So first let us see flash point. So now these are the properties related to the increase in the temperature on heating. So whenever a on heating the lowest or the minimum temperature at which it produces sufficient number of vapors which are ignited for a moment or produces a flash when flame brought near to it. Now, fire point. So, the minimum temperature or the lowest temperature which produces sufficient number of vapors and produces flame and and burns continuously for at least 5 seconds is known as fire point. So a good lubricant should have high flash and fire point. So these are the properties of lubricants. Thank you.
Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.